Hi, any drone based workflow requires many different steps and each one of these steps adds a new amount of value to the entire process. Typically when you are capturing drone data, whether it's for mapping, inspection or search and rescue, you typically have a lot of different steps that come together in a workflow. You have your data capture, you have your data processing, you have your data sharing, you have your measurements and annotations and reporting. But there is one step that a lot of people seem to ignore. And in fact, if that step is not done, it can lead to the entire process coming crashing down. What step is that? We'll have a look in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Varun and I'm the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk about a very important but often overlooked step in creating a drone based workflow. So normally what we see is that people focus a lot about the data processing or the data capture. Now, obviously those two things are very important and are very much the critical steps in drone workflows. You need to be able to capture the data. And once you've captured the data, you need to be able to process that data in some meaningful format. Um, and then obviously, once you've processed the data, you need to be able to share it, whether it's with your own team or with, it's with your client or other stakeholders. And you need to make some informed decision from that data, whether it's annotating it for measurements or whether it's uh, understanding the condition of an asset. So those are very commonly used steps. And I think everyone has to go through it. People do one step one way or the other. So, you know, you might do your capture manual or you might do your capture automated. The same goes for processing. You might do your processing on the desktop. You might do it in the cloud. So all of those are very much depending on your specific requirements and your specific use cases. But there is this very important step that everyone seems to ignore. And that step is data verification. Essentially, when you create your flight plan and capture your data to the specific requirement you need for data processing, a lot of people are not verifying the data before they leave the field or the site. And what happens is they get to the office and they realize they did not have enough overlap in their images or the images were out of exposure or the images just did not have the right GSD. And a lot of that happens because the real world is complex, job sites are complex, and we are working with really, really um, innovative but technical uh, things such as flying drones and cameras with different specifications. And there's a lot of technology on the field. And, and whilst that makes things easy, it also means that sometimes things go not as according to plan. And we need to be able to prepare for that. So. Um, in a nutshell, what we notice is that a lot of people are not verifying whether they have collected the right data before leaving the job site and they have to then go back to the site to collect the data. And that just means double the travel costs, a lot of lost time, the time that could be spent in reviewing the data is actually spent in recapturing the data. And in fact, uh, we did some surveys with the drone industry with respect to how many people feel that their data capture and uh, data processing workflows all, always work seamlessly and there is no need for recapture and the results were startling. So what we're going to do is we're going to link those results, uh, those studies um, in, in the description of this video. But that just basically shows that there is a need for the drone industry to start taking data verification seriously and give it the due credit that it needs uh, for being um, a really important part of the drone workflow. Um, and so data verification doesn't have to be um, extremely complicated. Um, I think you could build a data verification step in your workflow um, very much from the ground up. And, and you could initially start by essentially just reviewing all the images in the field um, and this could be on an external device, such as a laptop, or if you've got a smart controller, it could be on the smart controller itself. Uh, but just being able to sort of look at all the images and making sure you've got all the data before you leave the job sites is just so critically important and, and just so important for you to, to be able to do that whilst you're on the site itself, as opposed to 
having that moment in the office where you're like, oh, I wish I had better data. So um, your, your data verification could basically start with verifying the images, but you could go a step further. You could sort of verify whether or not they have the right overlap, whether or not they have the right exposure, whether or not they were taking the right altitude. Are you missing any images? Uh, did the SD card store all the images? Um, I think we know people that even create backups for the images because they know that things can go wrong. So essentially um, taking data verification and thinking through this, that step and building on top of that can be a great tool in your drone workflow. And we highly recommend paying more attention to that just as much as you do to data capture or data processing or data sharing. And in fact, because we feel at Hammer Missions, our job is to build the right tools for this industry. Um, we, are, we are looking to incorporate data verification as a part of our end-to-end -end solution. And some of, the, some of the software that we're going to be releasing over the next few months is going to include verifying the data automatically on the field so that you know that when you get to the office, you're gonna get great results with Hammer Missions or any other software that you're using. Um, and we think that's where the industry needs to move towards, where you have a seamless, data capture, verification, processing and sharing workflow. And you do that over and over and again, again and get better at it. So hopefully this video was interesting or important. Uh, if you haven't come across data verification before, if you like this video, do give us a, give, do give us a, a like. And if you think that other team members in your team might benefit from, uh, from this concept, uh, do share the video with them as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video for Knowledge Hub.